We may have taken down their mothership, but Sloane's plan backfired. Now all of these cubes crash onto the island, and one of them has become the most powerful villain today. Sure, these are corrupted by a dark evil, but that power is controlled by a sinister character known as the Cube Queen. Exiting her golden shrine, she summons her army of caretakers and cube monsters to fight off the IO forces. Now you gotta understand, the last reality are very different to our villains of the past. Every threat we face has wanted to take control of the zero point for themselves, aside from Galactus. But this motive is extremely worrying. The Cube Queen and her minions want to use a zero point to destroy everything that has ever lived. Because it's tethered to all realities, they can eliminate life as we know it in an instant, making them truly the last reality. The Queen's plan has already come into fruition, but she needs the full power of her fleet back home in order to make it work. She sends her army of cubes to the center of the island, directly above the zero point where they create a pyramid known as the Convergence. Sloane was fooled by the last reality during Operation Skyfire, but knowing what she's up against, it is finally time to put together a real plan, except she doesn't. Instead, the Imagined Order are more distracted by their newfound prisoner, Agent Jones. After being stuck in the loop, he was arrested for treason, but little do they know, someone else has been discovered too. The Foundation! dropped at the bottom of the ocean wakes up. Months have passed since he was ejected from the Zero Point and he has no idea where he is. Leaving the ocean, he stumbles across Gotham City, the last place that the Zero Point was calibrated to. In this strange world, the Foundation is immediately approached by Batman, who assumes he's a threat. After fighting, they talk it out, where the Foundation reveals that he has sworn enemies with the Imagined Order and has nothing to do with the loop. They want to take down the IO and liberate the Zero Point, just like Batman does. He explains that the Seven have always had an advantage over the IO, because they have the ability to create sideways rifts. This is a way to traverse different realities without the zero point. This technology was experimented with in chapter one through the rocket launch. The only problem is it takes a long time for the rift to close, making it extremely risky. On the other hand, the IO doesn't know how to do this. They need to use pure portals, basically the ones opened by their guns. So learning all of this, Batman agrees to help the foundation return home. Once back, he realizes that he needs to find Agent Jones immediately. A lot has changed since being thrown from the spire, but before then, he must update the other members of the seven and figure out a plan to stop the last reality. Sloan and the Imagined Order have never cared about the fate of the island. As long as they maintain control of the orb, everyone dying, it's perfectly okay. It's happened time and time again, like the Zero Crisis or the Final Showdown, but the Seven, as usual, have to swoop in and save the day. The last reality is... Wake him up. <laughs> you just had to be the hero, Jones. You know what happens to heroes? They, uh, live to fight another day? Not this time. Do it. No, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! This isn't personal, Jones. Although I do plan to enjoy it. Would someone see what that is? I watched you die. I got over it. You! <laughs> you came back for me. You promised me, Jeno. Well, love you too, buddy. Everyone follow me to the bridge. We'll be safe there. Location at 15 degrees. Don't worry, guys. I'll move the bus by myself. <laughs> It's right up here, and I will give you a water break soon. Heads up! I know another way. Guys! Careful! Edges are hot! Rotation out. 30 degrees. <laughs> That's the last one! We did it! Where's my gun? Okay, I... may have dropped it. In the zero point. Ugh. <sighs> Why does she make me keep saving you? Well, what about that? Get ready to swim!
Yailin has flipped. The imagined order have been caught by total surprise, but so were the seven. Their plan to take back control of the island has been stopped short by the caretaker breaching the wall. And because of this, their hiding spot for the past four years has been revealed. This whole time, they were living on the other side of the island at a place named Sanctuary, where they could keep their friends close, but enemies closer. Now, this peaceful retreat has been exposed to the imagined order, who are furious and already planning their counterattack. The seven and IO have been at each other's throats, but never took full scale action against each other until now, where the tension has reached boiling point, and thus, the Zero War begins. As the Seven recruit as many loopers as possible, the IO already has them outgunned. Other members of the team join the fight, such as the Origin, who is drafting up battle plans to push back against the army. He has one of the most interesting backstories in the Seven. Once known as the Cube King, he ultimately realized that their dark energy could only be used for evil, so he escaped, leaving his identity behind for a new life. He was captured by the Imagined Order shortly afterwards, who tortured him for answers, but one day, the Seven broke in and rescued him. He walked out of that prison with a new name, the Origin, and has been their field tactician ever since. But he's not the only member with an intriguing life. The Order and the Imagine are the sisters that Foundation asked Jones to find. We don't know how they were reunited, but both of them are available to help in the war against their father, Jeno. The Imagine has been spending her entire life trying to take revenge on her father. As children, he genetically modified them to be perfect warriors with immortality and super strength. Reality was their playground, but one day, things changed in an instant. One of the members of his inner circle offered him a bed. Could the sisters become the first ever to escape the loop, and how long would it take? Jeno was confident, but his obsession with perfection was also their downfall. The sisters did end up escaping the loop, but not fast enough. And when they returned home, the loop had created snapshots. Only these versions were more brutal, and Jeno had a realization. He replaced his own daughters with more powerful snapshots, forcing the sisters to turn their backs on him and...